Hello my friends, welcome to Iron Mammal episode number 6. We are starting off this episode with some quests. I am currently sitting at 125 quest points, so we're going to start off the episode by grinding out some easy quests. First of all, start out with Sheep Herder. Now Sheep Herder, people seem to hate that quest so bad, but I find it super easy. I did it in like 5 minutes, but anyways guys, there's Sheep Herder done. Next, I'm going to move on to the Watchtower quest. Look at the mean handlebars on this guy. For whatever reason, he reminds me of a cartoon character and I can't get it out of my head, but I can't think of the name. Like picture his face and the mustache and it's a cartoon character that like mumbles like like he I know somebody in the comments has to get this. Like I'm oh, I can't figure it out and it's pissing me off. Hey, and there's the creature of Fenkenstrain quest completed. I remember when I was a little kid, my brother used to say Frankenstein, and I was absolutely livid trying to explain to him that it's Frankenstein, because I was convinced, I was like, why would it not be Frankenstein, and frankly, I don't know. There is the giant dwarf quest completed. Now because I've completed this, I can now do the forgettable tale of a drunken dwarf quest, which will give me some farming XP, which will then get me to a high enough level that I can do Garden of Tranquility, which is my favorite quest in the entire game. Kappa. So in order to do the Drunken Dwarf quest, you need to grow some barley, and that takes about 40 minutes, so in the meantime, I went ahead and did the Making History quest, got ourselves three quest points and whatnot, and I have to pee super bad, I'm cutting the comments. So the Rowdy Dwarf in this quest requests one special item from you, and it's totally random, like, player by player, and he asked me for an acne potion. Now I think there's like some acne root or some shit out there, but I just read acne potion and I'm just like, teenage boys around the world cry. And there is the forgettable tale of a drunken dwarf quest completed. Now this took me way longer than it should have. Uh, in this quest, you have to like brew some beer. And according to Rune HQ, it said it would take 7 to 10 minutes. And I stood there for about half an hour and nothing happened. So I was like, well, maybe it takes a while. I don't know. Rune HQ is not always super credible. So I logged off. Logged back in in the morning. Still not... It's, nothing has happened. And then I realized that I had the ale yeast in my inventory. I didn't put it in, so that took me way longer than it should have because I'm kind of an idiot. But we got 5k farming XP. We started this quest at 18 farming, and we are now level 25. Nice. Absolutely one of the best cutscenes in all of RuneScape. The queen just absolutely goes off on the king. She claims she does all the work. It's absolute bullshit. You know what? This reminds me of the video that It's James made. I guarantee a lot of you guys have seen it. It was featured on Chris Archie and stuff. If not, I'm actually going to put a link in the description. It's absolutely hilarious. Go watch it. But anyways, when this cutscene is over, I will have completed Garden of Tranquility. Alright, there it is. There's Garden of Tranquility completed. We got 5k farming XP. That puts me all the way up to 30 farming, which is awesome. Um, I can't think of any quests where I need high farming anytime soon. Other than Fairy Tale Part 2, and that requires like 50-something, so... I reckon now I probably have to start training farming the uh, the normal way. So I decided to go ahead and take a break from requesting and I got myself 50 mining. I believe that is my last requirement that I need for the Heroes quest, so we'll be getting Heroes quest out of the way very, very soon. Um, now before this episode I was kind of just picking random quests and doing them, but then I realized I haven't done like any of my achievement diaries, so I went through all the list of requirements and I wrote down all the quests I need for achievement diaries, so... From now on, I won't be just doing random quests, I'll actually do quests that are going to benefit me in the Achievement Diaries. Now that being said, I'm very very close to the Varrock Diaries. I need to do a couple of quests and then I can do the medium one, so let's go do those quests and then we can do uh, the easy and medium Varrock Diaries. This quest is so nostalgic for me. I remember when I was a little kid, I probably did this around the age of 10, and uh, as you can see, you, you can hit ridiculously hard, like I'm poking 50s right now, and uh... When I was a little kid, I thought that this was like being a high level. Like, I thought when I leveled up, I would just be hitting nothing but 50s, and obviously that's a bit of a letdown, but yeah, this quest is uh, very nostalgic for me. You know, I didn't think this day would come, but somebody made the account Mommel. Hey Jordan, I made, I made my own account. You need to do your chores, Jordan. Get off RuneScape. <laughs> Damn it! She follows me everywhere. And there is Pete's Candlestick. Shout out to Goon for the help. I really do appreciate it, and with that... I have everything completed, so let's go hand it in and we can complete the Heroes quest. Alright, there we go. There is Heroes done. I got a lot of XP, so I imagine I might have leveled up quite a few stats here. We got 45 defense. That's, I guess I'm a Berserker here now. Uh, what else? 55 attack, 28 herb lore, 56 fishing, 
And 41 smithing. Goodness gracious. And that is all of them. Um, I can now buy a dragon battle axe. It's not exactly a priority, but I do think I want to buy one of these fairly soon, because obviously using this will be a lot easier than trying to stock up on the potion stuff to make super strengths. Alright, there's the eagle's piece. <laughs> that didn't just happen. Alright, there's the Eagle's Peak quest completed. That was a quick quest. I wanted to get that one over with. Now, in the meantime, my Willow Tree has been growing. I'm going to go get six more Willow Branches from that, and then I will have 12 banked. With that, I can complete the Enlightened Journey quest, and then I can do my Easy and Medium Barok Diaries. I just flew a goddamn hot air balloon, and there is the Enlightened Journey quest completed. I love this outfit. Okay, so we got some XP AI. I can grow banana trees. Holy crap. Anyway, um... Let's be honest here, I could give two shits about XP. I'm all about fashion scape, and I love the bomber jacket. Well, I was killing some Alcarid warriors in a hunt for the Earth Talisman drop that I needed for the Easy Varrock Diaries. I got a clue scroll in the process, and... I mean, that's not awful, I guess. Easy clue scrolls are meant to be good anyway, so I'll take some free nature runes. I feel like I'm pretty much the worst person in the world. Like, you take a cat. You, you, you start with a kitten, right? You nurture it, you pay attention to it, you grow it into full cat... And then you hand it away for some goddamn death runes. We are terrible people. Now, obviously, as I'm a Twitch live streamer, I'm pretty much required to pick the black one. I mean, otherwise, it'd be clear racism. Oh, my sweet baby Jesus. There it finally is. Uh, one of the tasks in the Varog Medium Diaries is that you have to teleport using a dig site pendant. Now, you can't actually enchant ruby necklaces to make a dig site pendant until you clean a bunch of these rocks and you find this and, uh... According to the Wikia, it takes on average anywhere from 100 to 1,000, and it took me a solid hour, so I'm so glad I finally have this. Um, so go ahead and do that one next. After that, I have to get a Slayer task from Vanaka. Um, at the moment, I have approximately 80 cow fights to kill, so I'm going to finish that task. I'll tell you if I get any levels, and then we get a new task from Vanaka, and then the uh, Medium Varak Diaries will be done. Now, the issue with that is, is I want to use it on Herblore, obviously. But people told me that you can't bank the lamps, and you have to be level 40 or higher. So I'm not going to claim my reward for the medium ones, but uh, I will be finishing them in just a second. Alright guys, there is the Hand and the Sand quest completed. With that, I am now going to do the Tower of Life. And after that, I will have all my requirements for the uh, the Medium Ardune Diaries. Okay, there is Tower of Life completed as well, so I can go ahead and do the Medium Ardune Diaries. Now again, unfortunately, I cannot take the reward. I need to get up to uh, 40 Herbore first. You know, I, part of me wants to just finish them, but I've been told by so many people how awful Herblore is, so... Despite the fact I can't upgrade my Ardune Cape right away, even though I want to, I, I really should wait and uh, get my Herblore up first. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I doubted it would, but the Dorgishan Crossbow actually worked. If not, I was going to have to do a bunch of requirements to get a different crossbow. There we go. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Alright guys, there is the Edgar's Ruse quest completed. That took a lot longer than I anticipated, but uh, I did grab an extra Gout Reed right away. I'm going to need this in a future quest, but we got 11,000 Herblore XP, which is awesome. Got me all the way up to level 36, well basically 37, so we need two more Herblore levels and then we can uh, make Prayer Potion. Let's be honest, I'd tap that. Hey, there it is guys. There is 38 Herblore and we can now make Prayer Restore Potions, which is huge. Having the ability to make prayer potions allows me to do barrows, it allows me to do desert treasure next. I mean, there's just a lot of huge things that I unlocked just by having the ability to make prayer potions, so I'm pretty excited about that, guys. Uh, next what I'm going to do, I'm going to head over to the Wilderness Cowboys Dungeon to make some money so I can imbue my Iben staff. Alright, well, camp some mechanical keys, and here we go. Time to upgrade the staff. Thank you, sir. Oh. I thought he just took it for a second. Okay, there we go, guys. There's the upgraded staff, and with that, I believe we completed every medium task, if I'm not incorrect. Oh, yeah. I have one less thing to do. I have to travel to Castle Wars via hot air balloon, and I need to get, like, 11 U-logs. And I have no idea how to get U-logs. The only way I can think of is to train my woodcutting, which I don't want to do, but I'll probably end up doing. Yes, this cutscene is so awesome. When I was a little kid, I was like, oh my god, let me pick this shit up. I freaked out so bad. It's kind of funny to think that, like, you know this quest was made a long time ago. See, because when this quest was made in, like, 2005 or whatever, this dragon chain body was, like, 30 mil. See, now I see this, I'm like, yeah, that's, like, 2 mil. Cool. You know, I'm trying to do some Taibo 1 I clean up, and freaking Blanka from Street Fighter over here will not fuck off. 
All right, there it is. There is the medium cape. Obviously, the uh, the stats are definitely improved, so we now have four prayer bonus and four magic bonus. Plus, it looks a little bit cooler in my eyes, but uh, there we go, guys. There is the Ardune medium diaries done. Now, the hard diaries are significantly more difficult, so uh, that probably won't happen for a really long time. I can't remember which episode it is, but I know on one of my main progress videos, like way, way back in the day, there was an episode where I was wearing almost the exact same newbie gear, and I was here, killing these guys. This is like total deja vu. Your new task is to kill 94 shades. I literally cannot picture another human being in real life saying, I need you to kill almost 100 lampshades. Like, go to Lowe's and just start stabbing lampshades. Just got assigned 113 moss giants. We are currently 58 attack. I decided to take a break from questing. My current goal is to get 60 attack so I can finally use the uh, dragon scimitar that I unlocked a long time ago. But uh, yeah, 113 moss giants. My, uh, my neighbors over yonder. I think that should give me 60. Hey, there we go, guys. We just got 60 attack here at the Moss Giant, so we can now wield our Dragon Scimitar. Unfortunately, I don't have enough money, so I'm going to hit up some uh, ecumenical keys. Then I can go ahead and buy a Dragon Skim. So today, I went from 56 to 60 attack, and I also went from 28 to 38 Slayer. You know, I've been needing more Trout. I'll take it. Alright, there's a Dragon Skimitar for 100k coins on the dot. I've got a whopping 2,000 GP left to go. Well, with that, guys, I'm going to be I'm going to be doing one Barrows run. Just one singular Barrows run, my first one ever on this account. Alright, guys, got 14 kill count. Time for my first ever Barrows chest on this account. I am not killing Aram. Um, not gonna lie, Aram kicked my ass earlier. I tried to use a D-skim on it. Didn't hit shit, so... I'm gonna ignore Aram entirely. Here we go, boys. Let's let's start off the account with some awesome Barrows luck. Are you fucking kidding me? That's it. That's all I got. That's it. What the hell? <laughs> I don't. I don't even. Like I, I would be mad, but that's actually hilarious. 1.1k mind runes, 220 coins, and nothing else. <laughs> okay, Jagex, I see how it is. Just a slap in the face. Well, I only wanted to do one Bano's chest, but my Twitch chat peer pressured me into doing a second chest tonight. Since that first one was so bad, can we please get something better this time? See, there we go. That's what I wanted. A nice, well-rounded drop where I got at least one of everything. You know, it's a wonder that I didn't start doing cocaine by the age of 10 because clearly I am extremely easily peer pressured because here we are for chest number three. Okay, Barrow's chest number four. Best of luck to us. <laughs> Holy shit, get the what? Oh my god, we got a fucking Gotham chain skirt. Oh my god, get out of there. I, oh my god. Oh my god. The Barrow's luck is real. Everybody told me that I used up my Barrow's luck on my main. You were wrong. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm so excited. Alright, well, we may as well do chest 5 as well. Can we get back-to-back -back loot? No, we cannot. Okay, time for chest number six, last one of the episode. More bolt racks, I'll take it. Okay, so um, I'm doing the recruitment drive quest right now, and I need to become a female. Let's go ahead and embrace my ethnicity while I am at it. Would you have sex with me? Because personally, I would have sex with me. I am incredibly embarrassed to admit this, but it took me approximately 55 minutes to do this quest. It, I, I literally failed like 10 times. I don't want to talk about it. But there's a recruitment drive quest completed. Awesome. Just completed the Eyes of the Glow Free quest. Got a lot of rune crafting XP. Now I only got up to 23, unfortunately. I need to get all the way up to level 30. And then I can do the quest that gives me the Proselyte armor. I really don't know how I'm going to get 30. I'll look for some more quests. But I don't know. I really don't want to manually train this unless I absolutely need to. 
Alright, there is the Wanted quest completed. That was one of the prerequisites for the quest that gives me the uh, Proselyte Armor. 5k Slayer XP almost got me up to uh, 40 Slayer. I am ballin'. I got 99 the other day and now I'm at like 39. This looks depressing. God damn it, I missed the level, but there is 80 Hunter guys as you can see right there in the chat box. We just got 80 Hunter so we can now set up my 5th trap. Um, I don't know if having a 5th trap actually affects your XP per hour that big, but uh... There we go, guys. 80 Hunter has been achieved. We only have three levels left to go. Like, I'm really, really starting to hate Hunter because not only are the levels slow, but also whenever I go to Black Chins, I just get PK'd so often that I just I just want to cry. So, at this point, Hunter is awful, but I, I mean, you know what? I'm seeing the light. We only got three levels left to go. This will all be over soon. Well, I've caught about 100 Chinchampas so far while using five traps, and the XP per hour difference is ridiculous. Now, I've only caught 100, so it might not be that accurate, but when I was using 4 traps, I was getting about 70k per hour, and now with 5 traps, I'm getting about 100k per hour, so, again, that might not be accurate, but that's pretty goddamn crazy if it is. Uh, with that, guys, though, um, I know I shouldn't be doing barrows in my stats, okay? Like, let's just be honest that my stats doing barrows is far from efficient, but with that Guthan skirt earlier, I'm just, I don't know, I'm addicted to barrows right now, so... What I'm going to do, guys, is head back to Barrows tomorrow, test my luck once again, and then we'll probably wrap up the episode. Well, I suppose I probably should become a guy again. I don't know. I I, I was digging the, the female look for a while, and then I put armor on, and I realized I look like an idiot. Like, I don't know what it is. I just feel like they did female modeling really poorly in this game, but all right, let's go ahead. Male, uh, let's just go real pasty. Let's just embrace the fact that I'm a huge white boy IRL, and... Uh, Embrace our paciness. Alright, first chest of the day. I believe we're on chest number six, maybe? Chest number seven, I forget. Chest number se- Holy fuck! What the hell is- I- I- I don't even- I don't even know. I don't even- What in the fuck, man? <laughs> Get out of here! Seven Barrows chests! We get a Guthin skirt, and now a Carol's top. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I can't- I cannot even. I cannot fucking even. <laughs> what? Can we get a back-to-back? -back? No, we cannot, but that is a lot of chaos runes. Nice. Okay, here we go. I am choosing to not kill Aram anymore. I'm out of rune arrows, so it just seems like a waste of prayer potions to try and kill Aram, so I'll have to loot and get out of there really quickly, but uh, chest number nine, I believe it is. And we get nothing. That's alright, though. Okay, chest number 10, Colin G. Spear, good luck to you guys as well. Alright, that one wasn't too attractive, but we'll take it. Time for chest number 11, good luck to you guys as, nope, not GK. Good luck to you guys as well. Okay, so the likelihood that I can do even one step of this is very, very low. Let's read the first step. I can actually do the first step. Let's get it. Blow a kiss in the heart of the lava maze. Equip black dragon knight chaps. Spotted cape and a rolling pin. Well, it's been fun. Chest number, I believe it's 11 or 12. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> no way! 13 chested, we have two out of the four Guthans pieces. I, 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 What? What? The... <laughs> I'm so done. I'm so done. I'm so done. Oh my god. If you hate me, I understand. Like, if you just absolutely hate me, I understand, because I hate me right now. I hate me right now. <sighs> wow. Wow. Barrows, I love you too. Barrows, I, I love you too. You, you, are, you are something else. Alright guys, well that is going to be it for today's episode. I want to say thank you very much for watching today. Uh, last episode we left off with a total level of 1,004. And we are now up to 1,135, so we gained about 130 levels. Uh, as far as quest points go, we are currently sitting at 160, which means we only have 15 quest points left to go, 
And then we can do RFD. So, guys, I know we've been working on, like, a lot of goals. I've kind of been spread out working on a bunch of different shit on this account right now. But things are really starting to come together. And honestly, next episode, we are going to get the last 15 quest points. We're going to be getting Barrow's Gloves. And also, Hunter is almost done. So, guys, we've been working on a lot of goals. And next episode, I think everything is finally going to come together. We're going to get the Barrow's Gloves. Give the amulet of glory, and I am very, very excited. And obviously, I need to talk about the Barrow's luck today. Uh, my current bank value is 12.12 .12 mil, which makes sense considering I now have the Barrow's pieces and whatnot. So, I just honestly, I cannot believe my crazy Barrow's luck. 13 Barrow's chest, we got three very useful Barrow's items, and an elite clue scroll. So, I don't know, guys. My RNG in this game is just beyond belief sometimes. But again, guys. Thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, feel free to hit that like button. I really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me on this series. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, and I will see you all later.